Hey everybody, welcome back. Just want to give you a quick sneak peek on my newest addition to my garden back here. This is a walk-in greenhouse, really low cost, efficient setup. I want to share it with you. Let's just zip up the front door here. Now what I love about this greenhouse is that it comes with built-in shelving. Both sides have two shelves. And although they're not super heavy duty, they'll have no problem holding small seedling trays and even four inch pots. Another great thing about this particular model, I put it all together in 15 minutes, no tools required. All the tubing just slips in to these connectors here, goes together very easily. And some of you are probably wondering, why do you have a garbage can in your greenhouse? Well, this is working as my heat sink. This is a 32 gallon receptacle and it's full of water and it's being heated by a fish tank aquarium heater and right now the water temperature is reading at about 105 degrees Fahrenheit I have this probe thermometer in there because the actual digital thermostat that came with this heating element isn't reading correctly it's showing 89 degrees but I could tell by putting my hand in here we were warmer than that and sure enough so not a deal breaker. There's lots of different manufacturers that make these heating elements. They all have their own little sets of quirks. And they make these heating elements in all different wattages. A 100 watt heating element will heat up between 10 and 25 gallons of water. A 200 watt, 25 to 50 gallons. And a 300 watt, 50 to 70 gallons. They even make them larger than that. But this heat sink is gonna to help to radiate heat throughout the evening, even when we dip down below freezing temperatures we'll be able to maintain a higher heat here in the greenhouse, keeping seedlings and small plants alive. Now I just have a loose fitting lid here on top that I flipped upside down so I could get it to be flat. This is also gonna double as a seedling heat mat, taking up some of the heat from the container. And yet a third way I'm utilizing this in this build is I ran paracord from each corner of this design. So a crisscross shape. And they're going right under the water container here. This is helping to pin the entire greenhouse to the ground. So when this is full of water, you're looking at around 200 pounds worth of weight. And I've got that paracord wrapped around multiple points on the framing system here. So this should work out just great. This is what the greenhouse came with to secure it. I wouldn't trust in this, but the paracord connected to the framing being held down by the container here. I'm good with that. There's also some tie off points on each corner that you could utilize the little rope that they gave you to help to secure it further. And then this is really important. Around the edge of the greenhouse, there's a little extra flap of plastic. And what I did is I sandwiched it between two pieces of cardboard and weighted it down with some cinder blocks. Here you can see the backside. This is so important because if you have gusts of wind come up underneath the cover, it can blow the whole unit away, it turns into a parachute. This is a quick and easy way to secure that cover to the frame. And it also has these tie offs on different points where you can tie it directly to the frame as well. So I'm definitely gonna be giving you many updates on how this system performs. I expect it to do very well based on other experiments that I put together very similar to this. One of the things I'm gonna experiment with and do a little bit different with this design is at night, I'm gonna try placing a blanket over the top here, a moving blanket to help to insulate the greenhouse. Heat rises, so as that heat rises towards the top, if there's some extra insulation up there, it's gonna to help to keep that heat right where we want it, here in the greenhouse. And it's gonna look something like that. Of course, we're gonna have the door closed as well. For now, we're just gonna zip this up tight. All in all, a very low cost build. The greenhouse alone is around $70. The trash can, cinder blocks, a lot of folks have those items just laying around. So you could put something like this together for around $100. If you're interested in learning more about the materials I use to complete this build, check the links down in the description box. And so with that, I wanna thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.